What I find despicable to be is that everyone is pretending that this man lived a heroic lifestyle when he didn't. And I want to talk about what his lifestyle was um, leading up to this moment and why I refuse to accept the narrative that this person is is a martyr or, or should be lifted up in the black community and that we should be buying t-shirts uh, with his name on it, okay? Dear, I'm sorry, what was her name again? Candace Owens. Shut up. You're unattractive, so we don't want to look at you. We don't like what you have to say, so we don't want to listen to you. We don't want to see you, and we don't want to hear you. You are literally the devil's advocate. But the devil doesn't need an advocate. Black people do. And as a black person with an audience, you have the audacity to walk around with a Make America Great Again hat on. As if you're delusional enough to think there was ever a time when it was great to be black in America. You minimize the plight of the African American, and yet you have no trouble benefiting from it. You've called the NAACP one of the worst groups for African Americans, and yet you had no problem asking them for help in 2007 when you were being racially harassed by white boys at your school. And you didn't hesitate to cash that $37,000 settlement check you received. You have attacked the character of George Floyd, a man who's dead, murdered by police. The life he led prior to that is immaterial. The fact that you would go after that shows that you have no tact and no character. Then you accuse people of being bad at math for believing that black people are mainly the victims of police brutality. You say that white people are more at risk for police brutality by the numbers. Well, yeah, Candace, we understand that there are more white people in America than black people. That's why we're a minority. But by that logic, white people are more at risk for, let's say, I don't know, getting struck by lightning than black people. But if the lightning represents police brutality and it's only affecting a small group of people disproportionately, we have a problem. And I think you understand that. You went on to say, rather than focusing on reforming police, why don't we focus on some of these doctors who accidentally kill patients at work? That's a reach. While you're reaching, why don't you reach for the phone? Why don't you call up your hairstylist? Schedule a touch up and a trim because your hair's trash, this. Okay, it's trash. Now at this point, I'm sure you can tell that black people don't particularly like you, but that's not your biggest problem. The bigger problem is that it seems you don't like yourself. It seems that you don't like the fact that you're black, but you are black just like me. And if you don't like that about you, I'm sorry. And I hope that one day you grow to be able to accept every part of yourself. But until that day, don't come for us unless we send for you. So maybe take this time to reflect, stay in the house. Maybe you and your husband can run around in your MAGA hats inside. Maybe you guys can get into a little role play, a little plantation owner, slave girl theme, because you're probably into that. But maybe I'm just being petty.